Today we honor the Holy Family of Nazareth on this Holy Family Sunday. The Holy Family, of course, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. And as we gather, each of us members of our own family, we're asking their blessing upon our families during this Christmas season. And in this gospel today, which our deacon has just proclaimed for us, we see how St. Joseph models for us the family's vocation to holiness. Two elements to a healthy Christian family is first of all serving God and then serving each other in the family. Those two elements, of course, go together, but they're all built on our service of God, first of all, as followers and disciples of Jesus Christ. And so we see that so beautifully modeled for us today in St. Joseph. St. Joseph listens to God's directions for him as spoken through the angel, and he puts those directives into action. The angel tells him, rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt and stay there until I tell you, Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. St. Joseph listens to God and acts immediately. And then at a later date, after Herod has died, the angel then tells St. Joseph, rise, take the child and his mother and go back to the land of Israel, for those who sought the child's life are dead. St. Joseph listens to God and he acts immediately, and he brings the family back to Israel after the death of Herod. Those two elements are present. St. Joseph is serving God and serving his family by providing for their well-being, by protecting them from danger, and so he is a beautiful model for each one of us of family holiness during this Christmas season. That's the vocation of each member of the family, to be holy, to serve God, and to serve each other with care and devotion in the family. The both go together. How good God is to each one of us to give us the gift of our family. God reveals his love for us through our family, and he provides his special care and protection for us through our family. It's a gift from God. And it's also one of the important ways that we come to understand that God is love when we experience the love of our parents. We begin to understand then that God is love. And it's also one of the most important ways, the family, that we come to have faith in God. We learn to know Him, we learn to love Him through our family. So many good gifts we receive through our family. Faith, love, care, protection. So on this Holy Family Sunday, of course, we should always be grateful to God for our family and pray for our family, pray for each member of our family, asking God's special blessing upon each member. Remember to pray for your family. This idea of the family's vocation to holiness applies not only to our individual families, but also to the church family as a whole to be holy, all of us together, to be holy by serving and loving God and serving and loving each member of the church. And here, I would like to say a few words about the clergy sex abuse scandal that we have experienced in the last years. A scandal 
that has seriously wounded the family of the church and profoundly damaged those who have been victimized by the sins of others. The Holy Father this year has called the whole church to participate in healing the church family by praying and working for the purification of the church from this evil. Earlier this year, I promised that we would review all the clergy files of the entire history of the diocese for any and all credible allegations of clergy sex abuse of minors. And we have completed our historical review of more than 1,600 files. And we will be publishing the results of our study tomorrow. It's clear to me that making known the names of abusers can promote healing for the survivors of sexual abuse and healing for their families and also healing for the whole church. There is no clergy member serving in ministry in our diocese today who has a credible allegation of sexual abuse against him. Those whose names we will make known tomorrow who do have a credible allegation of sexual abuse of a minor against them have all been removed from ministry long ago. There is no clergy member serving in ministry in our diocese today who has a credible allegation of sexual abuse against him. I take this opportunity as we are about to make known the results of our study to apologize to survivors of sexual abuse who as minors were victimized by some members of the clergy. And I promise my continued prayers for you, whoever you may be, we hold ourselves accountable for abuses of the past. And we will continue our protocols that we have in place since 2002 to report all allegations of abuse to police for investigation and to engage our own church disciplinary process. We believe in zero tolerance. This is Holy Family Sunday during the Christmas season. And we do ask the Holy Family of Nazareth, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, to bless the family of the church at this time with the gift of healing as we all seek to serve God and to serve each other in holiness.